Thanks for joining me once again, Dean. Uh, tomorrow we host uh, Halifax Town at High of London. How are you feeling going into it? Looking forward to the game. We've had a good week's training. Um, our focus from Thursday Friday is on the opposition and the game on Saturday. And the players' attitude again this week has been excellent. I mean, what are you expecting from Halifax? They're now sitting fifth in the table and looking quite good at the minute. Good side. I've watched the majority of their games this season. They make no individual errors. Um, they've scored some fantastic goals. They've scored 15 goals now, seven or eight games, and let in eight. Um, good side. Uh, all know their roles are in the team. Uh, Peter's got them playing really good, attack minded football. And uh, they've been very consistent in their selection, especially over the last four or five games, where they've won three of the last four, I think. 10 points from the last four games for them. So, good side, we're expecting a really tough test and there's no easy games in this division. Having scored three goals and got all three points last uh, last weekend, are we now looking to, to build some momentum going on? No, we can only go one game at a time. You know, that's gone. That was forgot about on Monday morning. Um, we had a post-match analysis, you know, on Monday morning. There was a line drawn underneath that. We'll try and improve on our performance last week because we can always improve. Um, but our attitude is the main thing. We've got to make sure our mentality and our attitude is spot on because when you come up against sides like Halifax, you know, especially a team that where all the players know their roles are in it, we have to be on it. The detail is so important. So uh, I think it'll be a good game. I actually think it's going to be a really entertaining game. Um, we're attack minded, they're attack minded, so we're looking forward to the test. Goals came from three different players uh, last weekend. Is that something we're looking to, to bring into this, into this match against Halifax? Yeah, look, we'll take one goal. You know, if we can get one goal and they don't get a goal, I'll take one nil right now. Um, look, I think clean sheets are important. Every team wants to go from clean sheets. Uh, goals wise, I think we can share them within the team. I think that's important as well. Um, I just think there's individual tests and uh, we set individual uh, targets for players. And uh, if our players keep the same mentality, same attitude, you know, we'll win more than we'll lose. The, the lads have been training as hard as, as ever in training this week. Uh, how are we doing on the injury front? Um, David Cissé goes on international duty uh, for Sierra Leone, so he won't be available to us. Um, he's away for 10 days now. Um, who else is back? Uh, Jamie Twardy's gone really well. I just spoke to GA about it there. He's, he's doing really well. And um, There's going to be players disappointed not, being, not, uh, not to be in the squad tomorrow. And that's what we want. We want players being disappointed, but you know that's an individual conversation I have with them players. But what's important is that when they go back into the change room, they're positive and they're around the lads because we've got to create this togetherness, which is so important. It's the only way you bring success to any football club is uh, when you have togetherness. Adam Marriott and Daniel Powell play, played an influential role coming off the bench uh, last weekend. Is, is that something you, you can see from them again this weekend? Yeah, we'll see if they start or not. You know, um, look, I've got selection dilemmas tomorrow. I've got headaches. Um, hopefully, I'll pick the right, uh, make the right selections for the team. And uh, you know we, we've got we've got a really strong bench. You know we've got a really strong squad. You know and uh, yeah, look tomorrow it's going to be. You know we might make a few changes. We'll see what happens. I don't want to get I don't want to give Peter too much information on the interview. So I mean, we finally just we saw you you interacting with the fans at, at the end uh, last weekend. Uh, what impact can they have going going forwards now? Yeah, huge. But we have to give them something to sing about. I say this all the time. You know it's. Er our job is to make sure we get our fans singing and get rocking it. You know, if we're going to play boring football, then you know we've got to play attack-minded, exciting football. We've got to get after the opposition. We've got to make tackles again. We've got to fight. We've got to bite. Like I said this last week. That's so important. That's what all supporters want. I'm a supporter. I support a football club, and all I want to see is my team do that. So, our team, you know, the players understand they have to do it for themselves and their families first and foremost. I say that to them all the time. That's very important. And then we'll, my job is to make sure we do it for the team. And uh, our supporters were fantastic last week, and I'm delighted to be giving something to sing about, and hopefully we can do the same tomorrow. Thanks, Dean. Cheers.